five. Seven seconds left. Here we go. Bradley Beal cuts it to two. Then oh, Russ no. off the inbounds. The steal. That's a three. That gives Washington the lead. Just an absolutely unbelievable sequence here. Shades of who? Reggie Miller. But Get wait, one last chance for Brooklyn. Get, Get it up. No, oh, no. Can't do that. Rolls oh, off no. the rim and out. Washington wins. Nets lose. Here is Kevin Durant on yet another defensive collapse for the Brooklyn Nets. I think we'll continue to keep getting better, man. I mean, it's a tough one. We gave up 149 points, you know, 108 shots for them. You know, it's not looking great for us defensively, you know, giving up that many points. But I got faith in our team and our guys. And, you know, we're going to start to put it together on both sides of the ball. And, uh, you know, continue to keep growing, man. That's all we can do. You know, down the stretch, we, we had that game that should have been ours. So, uh, you know, we just look at ourselves in the mirror and, and just see where we can correct um, as individuals and as a group, you know, just off, especially on the effort. You know, I, I couldn't guard a stick today. You know, those guys were just going right around me. And, you know, I was getting frustrated a little bit, but they kept attacking. And, and that's what good teams do and good scorers do. So. All right, Nick. What, Nick uh -oh. wildly entertained from this one. Uh, uh -oh. Did last night show you the Nets cannot be considered title contenders? Nick Wright? Yikes. This is a tough one, ladies and gentlemen, because <laughs> Adam Silver's had to do a lot of, you know, chicanery, machinations, things to try to make this season work. But the one thing the Nets have requested, filed a petition, and asked him to do he refuses to, and that is officially make it a make it take it lead. Because the make it take it oh next might be the best team I've ever seen. But That's unless true. that adjustment comes, we might be in a little trouble, boys and girls. 149 is bad. 149 to the at the time three win wizards is horribly bad. But what have I told you, Brandon? It actually was worse than that. Because in the fourth quarter, they allowed 48. That's a pace of 196 points. And in the final six minutes of the fourth quarter, five and a half to be exact, they allowed 30. That's a 261-point pace. The Nets are setting new standards for defensive incompetence. And everyone <laughs> on the team knows it. Now, luckily, Brandon, they have defensive stalwarts, Steve Nash and Mike D'Antoni, to look to to fix this problem. So I'm sure they'll get it right. And I hear Iman Shumpert's coming through the door. So I think they'll be yeah. good. But right now, Brandon, th that's, Brandon's doing a pantomime of the Nets' defense last night. That was their defensive effort. Falling asleep, letting people run past them. So, yeah, I think they're in trouble, man. I think they're in a little bit of trouble, Brandon. Uh. Or yeah, are they Nick, sleepwalking Nick, through Nick, the regular season? Wake me up season. in six weeks. That's what you need to do. That's when this season's going to start. That's when the NBA season really starts. There's only a handful of teams that really play uh, 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 from start to finish every single night. There's only a couple teams. LeBron James and the Lakers, they're just really good. They have the chemistry down. They have the guys. They're light years ahead. This James Harden trade happened 10 games ago. The big three been together for four games, Nick. So wake me up in mid-March, and let's have the discussion about where this team is now. We know where we need to be. I talked to someone inside the, the Nets organization a couple weeks ago, because I'm like, man, look, this Nick Wright guy keep talking about defense, defense, defense. And he said, look, Brandon, <laughs> We know how to get to the conference finals. These guys know how to play enough defense to get there. They know how to play enough defense and play good defense to get to the finals. The question is, do they have enough to actually win it? So it's, it's, it's cool to hear Kyrie talk about, look, I played bad. We know where we need to be. Kevin Durant highlighting that. This isn't a team. This isn't a group of superstars. It's like, look, we're just going to win on offense. They'll get it together. And I love what I'm seeing right now. I love the ball movement. That was a big question mark, Kevin. Will this team be able to share the basketball? And then also you got guys um, that's really doing it at a high level without KD, without Harden, and that's very, very good for the Brooklyn Nets. So, wow. 
Every time wow. the Nets lose, I know we're going to have this discussion. I understand <laughs> that. But please, yeah. wake me up in mid-March. Okay, I like it, Brandon. You know what? Your Brooklyn Nets jersey might be an extra small, but your heart is an extra large, my friend, because you're showing more faith <laughs> than I think anyone else has. Nick, I think there's three problems with the Nets. Pride, uh, paint, and personnel. First one is the pride. Steve Nash oh, said after goodness. the game, he's like, eh, basically, we don't want it. The most important thing is individual pride, making every possession count and mean something. I think too many possessions for us didn't mean enough. So it's like, guys, just step up. It's just a pride thing, and it's fixable. Second one is paint. The Wizards scored 72 in the paints. DeAndre Jordan of old is not walking through that door. The DeAndre Jordan of the present right. day is, and he's not that great. The third he's problem there. is personnel, and Nick, you mentioned it. Iman Shumpert, who, who, by the way, watch out Dame Lillard. Iman Shumpert can rap better than anyone else in the league. Can also play a little bit of defense, but probably not the stopper. <laughs> Norvell Pell is coming, international player. Had a little cup of coffee with the JaVale Sixers. Norvell McGee. He's going to be all right. And, and you know this one, here's, there's reports that podcaster extraordinaire J.J. Redick is also might join the Nets. Not great on defense, good for podcasting, also lives in Brooklyn. And finally, Nick, I'm going to throw it yeah. to you here. Uh -huh. TV sports analysis. Uh, traffics in the extremes. And we're all guilty of it because that's what kind of moves the meter. You got to say this is the best ever, this is the worst ever, da da da. So you came on, you said this team is going to be the worst ever. And it's like, well, there goes Nick again with their hyperbole. Next thing you know, according to old Stat Muse, the Nets defensive rating, 119.9, worst in the league and would be worse of all time. Ever. So here are your flowers, yeah. my friend. They're imaginary, but it was not hyperbole. You were just being literal that they would be the worst defensive team so, of all time. Th wow. This is the problem with and and to be fair, I didn't I don't know if I quite said they'd be the worst defensive team of all time. What I said was if they were to make the finals or win the championship, they would be far and away the worst champion defensively ever but right now they wilds is right since the trade they are just the worst anything defensively ever here's the problem they don't need a minor tweak they aren't an Amon Shumpert an international guy I've never heard of and a JaVale McGee away they are <laughs> right now the worst defensive team in the league they need to improve on that end by leaps and bounds and that, to me, no. is not possible. They do. You can't. Oh, Brandon. So, Nick, they you take a guy. Four so, Nick, times you take this, a team. Go ahead. Go ahead, Brandon. You take a team, Nick. Go ahead. That's only played together. Like, the big three's only been together for, for four games. Right? And we know what they mm -hmm. can do offensively. Friday, they score like 149 points. Last night, the same thing. So, when you think about defense, you think about just the culture around the NBA. Guys don't play defense until the playoff time. There's only a handful, handful of teams that actually do it. So when you think about these guys having what it takes to get the job done later on in the season, in the playoffs, in the championship, like that's, a, that's more than enough. We know that it comes down to want to. This has nothing to do with ability. We're not, we're not asking for these guys to be a top five defense. We're just asking just to get a few stops. And that's want to, and that's attitude. And I think they'll be able to to do that come mid-March. Yeah, so a couple things. One is, even if I accept the premise that nobody, only a handful of teams really care about defense, that again, then everyone is playing to that level, and with everyone playing somewhat lackadaisical on defense, the Nets are still the worst. That's first of all. Second of all, maybe if it was like, listen, the Nets are allowing 120 points per game, but they're locking down in the critical possessions in the fourth quarter, and that's showing you they could do it for a full 48. I'd buy it. But that's not the case. It's getting worse as the game gets to a more critical moment. And lastly, yep. I don't. Kyrie can say I couldn't guard a stick last night. Replace yeah. last night with since Duke. Like, Kyrie is we're not still, about one. Still it's about two, ability. And we're still sitting at, the, the, we're still sitting second in the Eastern well, Conference. So, I mean, yeah, we're still true. right where we need That's to true. be.